So today I'm going to be checking out the brand new Lemfo LEM15. So this is a full Android 10 smartwatch with a large 1.6 inch IPS display. You have dual cameras, so 2 megapixel on the front and a 5 megapixel on the side. The watch also has a SIM card tray, so you can insert a 4G nano SIM card and you will then have 4G data anywhere, including all your calls and messages on the go. And then this becomes a full featured Android smartphone on your wrist. And you can even download full Android apps from the included Google Play Store and then have the ability to make and receive video calls. So that means you don't even need to pair up to your smartphone. This can be used completely stand alone. Now, a quick look what we get inside the box. So we have a user manual. We have a magnetic USB charger for the actual watch. You're also getting a standard USB-A to micro USB cable. And this cable is to charge the included power bank. That's right, people. You're getting a 900 milliamp hour power bank included with this watch, which means you can top up the battery from anywhere with this power bank. Now, the smartwatch itself is quite chunky in design. You're looking at 50.7 millimeters in diameter, 16 millimeters in thickness, and it weighs 74.8 grams. You've got ceramic bezels on the front with some markings going all the way around. The two megapixel camera actually blends in quite nicely into the bezels. You have a 1.6 inch IPS display with a screen res of 400 by 400. On the sides, we have two large round metal buttons, one for power and a back button, and just in between a five megapixel camera. On the other side, you have a SIM card tray, which can be accessed quite easily, no tools required. Now the side frame going all the way around is actually made from plastic. And if we have a look underneath, you have a ceramic back cover with heart rate sensor and your charger pins. And I'll quickly show you the charger in action. So it's a magnetic USB charger, quite a secure connection. Plug this into any five watt USB source. It takes around two hours to fully charge that 900 milliamp hour battery. So the internal battery is 900 milliamp hours and so is the power bank. And it takes two hours to fully charge, but then you can expect the battery to last at least one day with normal medium to light usage. Now, if you go crazy with heavy usage, watching lots of YouTube videos, playing games, video chatting for hours, then the battery will last around six hours. Furthermore, this watch is powered by the MediaTek Helio P22 Octa-Core with a generous four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. So this watch has quite decent specs and not long ago, budget smartphones used to come with very similar specs. Now, System OS is full Android 10.7 with a smartwatch skin on top. Um, you can see it's very fluid and fast in operation. Absolutely no lag, no matter what you do. And you can run full Android APKs. You have full Google services, including YouTube, Gmail, Google Maps, and the Google Play Store. So you can download and run all your favorite full Android apps and games directly on the watch. Now, there is also Bluetooth version 5, built-in GPS, dual-band Wi-Fi, and this supports 4G LTE nano SIM cards. You can make and receive WhatsApp video calls and WhatsApp calls, and you can also send and receive messages all directly from the watch. Furthermore, this watch claims to have an IP67 rating. Please note, if you read the small print, it says that this watch is not waterproof. It's not designed to take in the shower with you or in the bath. It's just splash proof. Now these straps are made from silicon, finished in black, and they are quite easy to remove and replace with your own 22 millimeter band. And this is how the watch looks on my wrist. And in case you're wondering, I have a wrist circumference of seven inches. So yes, it does feel like quite a big watch for my wrist. Um, you're certainly gonna feel the bulk and weight on it. And to give you a better idea of how big this watch is, I will bring in the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. So here they are side by side. The Galaxy Watch is 45.5 millimeters in diameter with a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display. It's 11 millimeters in thickness and weighs 76.4 grams. So weight wise, they are quite similar, um, although you can see the difference in size. Now, if you thought the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic was a big watch, the LEM15 is actually much bigger and much thicker. So that was just to give you an idea of the size. Now let's check out some of the watch features beginning with watch faces. So here is the default watch face. If you want to change, 
Keep the center pressed for a few seconds, and then you'll be presented with a rather large choice of different watch faces that you can instantly change to. And when you get to the end of the list, and it's a rather long list, you'll see a plus sign. You can hit the plus sign, and then you'll have a whole bunch of watch faces that you can immediately download. So just tap the download button. You can see the download size, so that's less than half a megabyte. And it took less than 10 seconds to download and install that watch face. And if you go back, you will then see that watch face we just downloaded. And there you go, it's applied. So there are a lot of watch faces built into this watch. So you can use the built-in cameras, add your own photo and make your own watch face if you want. So as I usually do, I'm now gonna give you a few examples of some of the nicer watch faces built into this watch. So let's check out the watch features. If you swipe down from the top, you've got your connection information. So SIM card, Bluetooth, and battery. If you swipe to the left, you then have some quick toggles for aeroplane mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, brightness, etc. I just want to quickly show you the brightness level. So that's completely low brightness. Quarter. Oh, that's good enough. That's halfway. Three quarters and then full brightness. Now, if you swipe towards the right, you've got your notifications. So all your notifications from your smartphone can be pushed. And not forgetting, this is a full Android watch, so you can download all your full Android apps and games, and all their associated notifications will appear here, just like it works on a smartphone. Now, if you swipe up from the top, you've got some tiles. So the first one is related to your health, so step counter, calories, and distance. If you swipe left, you've got music control. Any music that's playing on your phone can be controlled from here and you do have 128 gigs of internal storage so you can fill it up with your favorite music and play it on the go yes you can hook up your headphones your bluetooth headphones and control the music from the watch standalone people and then you have your local weather which needs to be updated and now if you swipe towards the left you've got your apps so we will go through them together you've got phone contacts sms settings heart rate breathe training web browser camera gallery calendar, alarm clock, music, recorder, file manager, weather, fitness, desktop settings, Google app, you've got the Google Play Store, Google Maps, you've got optimization, watch face store, there is a secondary app store, face unlock and assistant. Now let's go through some of these apps just to give you a taste. So phone and once you log into your Google, all your contacts will appear here and you have a proper dialer so you can actually initiate the phone calls as well. You go back, you've got contacts, SMS. Again, you can initiate text messages. So another thing I want to show you is the camera. So if we open the camera app, the camera is ready to take pictures or videos. So just tap the button and it takes a picture, just like it would on your phone. You can change between video or photos, but you can also switch cameras. So back camera and now this is the side camera. So here are a few samples of both cameras to give you a taste of what to expect. So here is some video footage with the side five megapixel camera. So we are now shooting video with the front two megapixel camera. And this is what you can expect in terms of video quality. So quickly check out some of these Android apps. Now I've downloaded a few Android apps. So we've got YouTube, Instagram, WhatsApp. Um, I've also downloaded a game, Beach Buggy Racing. So first of all, I just want to quickly test out YouTube. So you can see full featured YouTube there. You can see there are some things cut off due to the aspect ratio, but you can change that by keeping the power button pressed. You will then get a choice at the top, circle screen or square screen, then swipe back and you can now see a square display. So everything on the screen is more clear to see. And when I play a video, I like to go back to full screen. Here we go. Dead 
So that's what YouTube looks like on this watch. Let's just come out of this. All right, so we're gonna quickly check out a game called Beach Buggy Racing. So as you saw, Beach Buggy Racing is working absolutely fine. And we also got to test out the gyroscope control. So this watch does have a working gyroscope built in. Now the watch also supports data transfer. So you can plug in the charger directly to your computer. So I've plugged it into my Mac. And there you can see the entire file structure. So you can copy to and from all your images, music, movies, etc. So file transfers working fine on both Windows and Mac. Um, simply plug and play. So heart rate sensor is measuring. This is my medical grade oximeter. It's called the O2 ring. So you wear it on your thumb and it will basically give you an instant heart rate and a blood oxygen reading. So proper medical grade standards. So you can see it's already got a reading there. 96% blood oxygen and 96 beats per minute heart rate. So let's compare that to 136 beats. That is way too high. It thinks I'm running a marathon, but it is lowering itself. So let's give it a chance. 111. So we've got 89% heart rate, 94. It's going to 92, 91, 89% heart rate, 89, 87 beats per minute. And in actual fact, it's 93, 91, 94, 96. That is quite accurate right now. The watch took about one minute to get in line with the accuracy of the O2 ring. So there's no SpO2 or blood oxygen monitoring, but the heart rate sensor seems to be quite accurate. Um, it takes a minute to get there, but it gets there in the end. So very quickly, I just want to test out the screen on hand raise on this watch as from my past experiences, Lempho doesn't do it that well, but let's see. Here we go. I'm going to raise my hand. One, two, three. So it took about two seconds, two split seconds to turn itself on and then every time I move, it kind of turns on and off. It turns off a bit too quickly after I see the time. Yeah, and it flashes twice. I don't know why it does that. That doesn't make sense. Let's <laughs> let's do that again. One, two, three. So screen on hand raise. I'm looking at the time. And then before I read anything else, screen turns off, then turns on, then turns off. And turns on. Yeah, so... Strange things happening there for the screen on hand raise. Now let me show you the king of this feature. Samsung Galaxy Watch. Boom. Read everything till your heart content. And it turns off. In good time. Do it anytime you like. It won't disappoint you. Absolutely stunning screen on hand raise from the Galaxy Watch 4. Let's do it together. Boom. So much faster. But practical because it stays on long enough for you to read any of that information. This one just does a flashing uh, thing, which doesn't really make sense. So Lenfo LEM 15 screen on hand raise people. So before I conclude this video, I want to quickly bring up my smartwatch chart. So this is my top performing smartwatch chart for 2021, showing you the latest watches and seeing how they all compare with each other. And as you can see, Lenfo LEM 15 has taken position 21 on this chart. So there you have it, guys. That was the Lenfo LEM 15. A well-made full Android smartwatch. It's a big bad boy design, large bright display. You've got the MediaTek Helio P22, which is probably the most powerful chip ever used in a smartwatch so far. Camera is okay. It does the job. Nothing special, but for a smartwatch, it's quite useful to have, especially for video calls via apps like Skype, WhatsApp, etc. Now the battery life does drain a bit faster than what the retail specs suggest. So heavy users will probably need to carry the included power bank with them. Otherwise, medium to light usage, this watch can technically last you all day. 
although due to the bulky size and weight it's probably better to take it off before you go to sleep just to protect your partner from any accidental bruises. So the Lempho LEM15 will allow you to install apps, shoot photos, videos, take video calls, do all your regular social media stuff on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Basically, you can do it all on the watch and leave your phone at home. If you're looking for a full featured fitness watch, then this is not it. Um, you can take all the health features with a pinch of salt. If you are interested in buying this watch, it's most likely going to be for the full Android features, including Google Play Store, uh, Google Maps, WhatsApp, etc. Any questions, you guys know what to do. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.